Hello all, in this video we are going to see how to write the goals for a given data. For that we have to examine the given data. So look at here, we have student ID, section, group, points, student score and the letter grade related to the points. If you notice here, we have 141 records minus one header, which is 140 records. Look at the student ID. It has all unique values, okay? So, but it is not sorted in any order. It has five, six, seven, eight, again, start from 13, 15, 16, like this, okay? And in order to know whether these are unique values or not, you could click on data, and select the filter here so that you could see the filtering of the data and able to see all the different values, one, two, 100 and 140. I believe all these are unique values and you don't have any duplicates here. Similarly, in the section, you would see how many different sections of these students are in. And these students are in five different sections. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. And we don't have any missing value or a duplicate value here. I mean, however, we have several values that are with one and two, three, four, five, right? So that means we have some number of students in section one and some number of students in section two, three, four, and five. Similarly, how many groups we have? We have only two groups. Okay, so let me filter out this to see how many section of students are there in the first group. So in the first group, we have one, two, three sections. And let's see how many students are there in the second group. We have three, four, five. So that means what is the common section that we have for both the groups? Section three, okay? And we have points, you know, it depends on what student uh, uh, would get. And even some students would get even one point here. Look at that, one, two, three, four. Similarly, five, six, seven, 10, 12, 20, 33, 37, 59. And there is a perfect score as well, okay? And here are the letter grades, depends on the numerical value of the points, okay? So in order to write goals, you have to understand what's your data. For that, you have to examine the data like this by using filter options. If you have some missing data and all, we will be discussing about cleaning data. So basically this data set is already cleaned and it's a clean data set. Okay, so what do you mean by a goal? In general, a goal is an aim or a desired result that you want to get. But here we are talking about the context of the data here. So what's a goal? What you want to know from the data, okay? So there is a difference between goal and a story. We will discuss that later. What you want to know from the data is a goal. So in order to write goals, first of all, you should know all these things. First one, what is the data domain, okay? It is academic data and it's about student grades. Data source, it's very important to mention the data, data source. Where did you get this data from? Sometimes it may be unknown, you may not have any resource. Sometimes it could be from a website or it could be from a book or sometimes you make up your own data, okay? So in this case, I make up my own data which does not relate to any students in a real time. How many records we have? 140. How many attributes? Attributes are nothing but the columns that we have, okay? So we have student ID, section, group, and po points, and letter grade. You have to know the definition of these first. Then only you can frame the goals. That means having relationship between those attributes is nothing but a goal. As we looked, student ID is a unique identifier of a student. Section can have a number of can have any number of students. And a group 
may have one or more sections. In our data, we have in the second group and the first group, the common section is section three. Points are the scores of the students based on their performance. Letter grades are determined based on the points. Okay. Are there any assumptions that you made from this data? Okay, none. We don't want to know where this data, since we already made up our own data, we don't have any other assumptions. For example, if you don't know any of the column name, meaning of a column name, you could assume that, and then you could write your own description. And I have written five goals here that I'm going to analyze, okay? goals to analyze. So assume that you are a teaching assistant and you graded uh, whether it is a lab exam or a written exam for your uh, students and, uh, and you want to provide insights of the grades to your instructor or to your supervisor. So for that, I chose these goals. What is the distribution of grades among different sections? Okay, so we have five different sections. I want to see which section is performed better. And to compare the student grades in each group. Okay, so our, I mean, here you could see to compare the students of uh, student grades of each section. So you could write in two different ways. The goals could be start with to infinity or an interrogative sentence. Uh, another goal is to compare the student grades in each group. We have two groups, right? So how the student performed in each group. To compare the average of students' points among sections. What is the average of those students in each section? What is the distribution of average points of both the groups in each section? Of both the groups in each section, okay? What is the frequency of students' points in, in a class interval of 10? So this is basically how many students are there in between 80 to 90? How many students are there in between uh, 60 to 70? You could say that, well, that is a letter grade of B and D. Can we do that? So, but what about uh, if there are students in between 20 to 30? That is F2, and even 40 to 50 is also F. So, but I would like to know the frequency of students um, in a class interval of 10, starting from 0 to 10, 11 to 20, 21 to 30, until 90 to 100. Okay. And I would like to tell you the difference between a story and a goal. A goal is what you want to know from the data, where, where a story is what the data reveals after your analysis and drawing the graphs or charts or diagrams. So for example, you want to know how the students are performed in different sections. That is a goal. But the story is basically, well, section three performed well. That is a story that you get from the data. Okay, so that's a difference between a story and data. Thank you for watching.